Dan Rawlings. New York Clash's Rami the Arabian Nightmare Ibrahim is a never-ending flurry of kicks and punches. He is an anchor on his team and is not here to disappoint the fans. When my team needs points, I will get them. A lot of them. Philadelphia Flyers Dan Rawlings has waited in the wings for his shot at the WCL starting lineup. His time has come. I've got the skill and I've got the will. I'm gonna knock somebody out. Ready? Ready? Ibrahim, the nightmare they call him. Skilled in Muay Thai, six TKOs as a pro, over 30 KOs as an amateur. Tough guy fighting for the clash in the green. With these two guys, you don't have to look very far. These guys can fight in a phone booth. They're gonna be in each other's faces here. Look at some great combinations. Neither one of these guys is a backup type fighter. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. An enormous amount of experience between these two guys. Rawlings for the fire, martial arts since 1990, a World Combat League veteran. Both guys know exactly what to expect and what they want to deliver. Rami, mean, you know, he definitely loves that low kick. You know, my one advice coaching to him would be, you know, he needs to throw. Well, something seems to be wrong with him. You know, I don't know, maybe you got caught in the air. When you get hit in the air like that, definitely throws your balance off a great deal. Yeah, Rob, Rami looked like he had been grabbing that right ear. Looks a little red. Oh, excellent combination by Rami there. Left, right, inside leg kick. Ball from the coach of the clash. Punch your way in, Rami. Finish with a kick, and that's what he's been doing. Like I said, I would like to see Rami kick to the head more. He's using so much of those, those low kicks, which is an excellent technique, but you know, you've got to impress the judges a little bit, and they like to see those kicks to the head. Oh, another great inside leg kick. Like I said, man, these guys do not lack any heart whatsoever. I mean, you could tie a string between them. They're not going anywhere. They're in each other's faces. They must throw, you know, 60, 70 techniques per fight on this. In these three minutes, they are throwing a ton of techniques. Under a minute to go in the match. You know, the New York coach keeps encouraging Rami to, to pick it up. He says, we need this. We need this. And because he understands he's down, they're down on points and that they need to get some knockouts going. Oh, another good right hand by Rami. But Dan's got an excellent front kick. That was a beautiful front kick right to the chest. It's the last 30 seconds. These guys hear it. They're picking it up. Nice leg kick by Rami. Two leg kicks by Rami. That was awesome. So Rawlings overall has done a pretty good job in the fight, guy, of kind of measuring up Ibrahim, keeping him almost where he wants him a little bit, and taking advantage when they get in tight. This is a judging nightmare here. This is such an evenly matched fight, and it's very difficult, you know, to, that these things come out to a draw. It's going to be an interesting call here, man, because these guys really let it go. Blocked a little more with my face than I wanted to, but uh, other than that, I think i got to keep my punches a little straighter. I felt like my head fell off. It was like an elbow. And from there, it's just I was too busy thinking about it. So Rami, despite the effort, 15-11. Rawlings will take the match for the Philadelphia Fire. And Philly still leading 50. Ibrahim, Dan Rawlings for the Fire. And these guys, pretty even match first time tonight. Yeah, it's pretty even. Like, I actually thought Rami, you know, won the first fight, but the judges saw it the other way. So. He knows that he has to pick it up if he wants to win this fight. And they need this win. They definitely need this win. You know, I do not think that Rami can knock him out because Dan is well-conditioned and a smart fighter. But he definitely needs to have a commanding win here in order for, you know, the New York to have a chance to come back. And these guys don't lack technique. I mean, they're throwing a ton of stuff. Like I said, the one thing I would love to see Rami do is a little bit more head kicking, which I have yet to see him really do. But Dan has that signature front kick of his, which is just landing in the body of Rami. It's excellent, excellent kick. And you've said throughout the night, guy, that that, that little front kick, especially down on the legs as well, can just kind of wear you out. It doesn't look like much, but it can wear you out, take you off balance. 
All you have to do is let someone kick you in the legs once and it makes a believer out. You know why that technique works. I think Rami needs to go back into throwing more combinations. He's going to one technique, one technique, whereas Dan Rollins has come in with twos and threes. Team format fighting here in the World Combat League. Uh, you know, these guys are always fighting for the team, to say the least, but also they're fighting for an opportunity tonight to go to Austin, Texas. That's where the league finals are going to be. And although they won't be fighting for the league championship, either one of these teams could be going there looking for essentially the bronze medal of bragging rights in the World Combat League. And that's exactly what it is, is bragging rights. Not only is there competition between the teams, but there's competition between the conferences. And these guys, you know, they want the bragging rights. They want to say, hey, my conference is the tougher conference. This guy's throwing a lot of combinations. Beautiful body attack by Rami. Rami forcing Rawlings out into the red and kind of not being in the fight there. He gives up a penalty point to Rami Ibrahim in the New York Clash. Beautiful one-two front leg, front kick by Dan Rawlings. That was nice. You know, these guys are throwing down here. And as you heard the coaches yelling, you guys are warriors, and without a doubt. These guys are nonstop. One gives, the other one takes, then he ends up giving it. It's awesome. There's a little bit of holding there by Dan. He got away with it. First fight between these two guys earlier tonight in the first half. Rawlings and the Burgundy won it for Philly. You know, this is almost a carbon copy of the fight. You know, these guys are just throwing, like I said, they're throwing 50, 60 punches and kicks around. I feel great. Second round was a lot better than the first. Felt a lot more relaxed. Rawlings in there. Three shots in a row from the right. And is it a total rematch? Yeah, basically with the score as well. 15-9, make it 15-10 with the penalty points. And the clash just can't.